I'm Francis D'Souza. With the sun coming out somewhere, we want to talk about sun health because it is the season for summer. Dr. Julia Carroll joins me now. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Good. So uh, this is a time when you want to pay attention to your skin, especially when the weather is nice and the sun is beaming down. Right. What if you see some kind of skin abnormalities? What should we look for? We like to make it easy for people. And so we talk about the ABCDEs of melanoma. Mm -hmm. So we have some visual here. Yep. So A is asymmetry. If two halves look different. Mm -hmm. B is the border, so there's a little bit of leaking or pods that are coming off of it. Color is if the color is getting darker or there's variation. Uh, D is diameter, so if the uh, mole is bigger than the six millimeters or the size of a pencil eraser. Mm -hmm. And E is evolution. That's just a great catch-all. That means if you see something on your skin, whether it's new or old and it's changing, you really should seek the expert opinion of a dermatologist to have that mole assessed. Okay, so at what point do you get to the doctor? So when you see one of those signs, Any the ABCDEs, yeah. then that at least starts you with your GP and then they can get you through to a dermatologist because if we want to prevent melanoma, but even if you develop a melanoma and we catch it early, it's so treatable. Right. Okay. Well, thank you. I want to come over here because uh, Melanoma Canada is talking about prevention and uh, even just uh, the amount of damage that the sun does. Annette joins me now. Hello, Hi, Annette. Hi. How are you? Good. You're the founder, but also a three-time survivor of melanoma. Yes, I so am. How did you discover that you had it? Did you did you notice one of the ABCDs? Well, I, I'm a, a, an offender of getting too many sunburns mm. when I I was young that's number one didn't know about this because I you know predate the the internet kind of <laughs> I know I don't look like it 29 really yeah 29, honestly huh? this is what sun damage mm -hmm. does sorry but um, I had a small mole on my right. ankle in 2001 I was 38 at the time and it kept bothering me it was itchy it was pulling and such and so finally after a year I went to have it checked out after a year I know wow. I know um, I finally went in and got a dermatologist to look at it. She said it was nothing, but I'll take it out anyway. She took it out, confirmed for melanoma. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, at the time, it was diagnosed early. It was a 99% chance it would never come back. Right. I'm the 1%. Let's talk about the age, because many people would think that, you know, I'm 15 years old, I'm 16 yeah. years old, I'm 25 years old, I'm invincible to the sun. Exactly. Not the case? Not the case. I mean, a lot of the sun damage occurs when you're young. You're outside, you're not working, you're enjoying the summer, as you should be. And but it's that age group, 15 it's, to 29. It's it's that age group. Well, you've got this device set up here which can show and reveal just how much sun damage is on your skin. So yeah. uh, I'm going to do it. Let's, uh, let's see. Okay, so... Uh, tell me what we're doing as we're uh, taking the picture here. Well, we're, this camera actually takes a picture. Yours is a little bit darker skin, so you've got a lot of melanin in your skin, which is what gives the skin color. Um, but this camera can actually show you the UV damage. You look like you have really healthy skin, mm -hmm. which it, you do. You have a little bit of freckling around Not the nose very flattering, but... Uh, no, yeah. no. But, <laughs> but actually, you know, if, if you can pull up another picture of someone before that has, um, well, just show you what the, yeah. you know, the lighter the skin, the more at risk you are of developing skin so cancer So the spots and here, what are we looking at here? Well, that's a bit of sun damage and such. Here, so around you, the nose. Even you can have yeah. a little bit. Remember, the best protection against the sun is to cover up, but if you are going to use sunscreen, and you should, make sure you get it all over. SPF 50 is what's recommended.